Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and I'm here with, whoa, freaking Magus X1. How's it going, dude? Hey, it's going. Um, we're here to watch the, uh, these uh, wonderful auteurs at Kodak, master filmmakers. Yeah, we, and for those of you who may remember, uh, Magus did Skip Rogers' commentaries way back in what, 2008 it was? Yeah, 2008. Nice. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, I remember someone had sent this to me saying, dude, check out this video of the Skip Rogers guy and the guy that does commentary over it. And it was you. I said, yeah, I heard of Magus X1, but I never watched his stuff. And I clicked on it. It was when you were commentating on Mega Man 2 and Platoon. I mean, it's freaking hilarious, dude. <laughs> I remember that video. And here are these previews. Look at this. Look at this right here. I mean, you remember this. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> the roller coaster thrills? Yeah. Yeah, look, man, I feel like I'm on a roller coaster watching these previews. On no, 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 I feel like I'm on multiple roller coasters because of these edits. Yeah, and this is supposed to make you feel like you're actually on a roller coaster. But it doesn't. Uh, no, I, I remember watching this back in 2008 when I first seen this on YouTube. I go, I never knew about this back then in the 80s, and no, this ain't. This don't make you feel like. I mean, unless you had a big freaking giant TV screen or something, maybe, but. Back in the 80s, when you had the two TVs and stuff, I mean, no. I don't know, unless you want to have 3D glasses or something, I don't know how they would pull it off, but this is stupid right here. <laughs> this would be a quick a quick uh, cash grab. Exactly. Probably was. The graduated sock. I, I don't know if I have really much to say about this. Well, this one's not bad. It's, it makes sense. It's just basic uh, soccer skills. So this one isn't really, you know, worthy to make fun of or anything. For little kids. Yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. Yeah. This is the only normal video. Yeah, now the only this, normal free oh. oh yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> oh I just decapitated myself, bitch. Yeah. Now to be fair, back then if I were to would have played this VHS tape game back when I was like seven or eight years old, I probably would have really liked it at first. But it, it but it might kinda get old pretty quick. Well, we know how VHS board games worked. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I, I never really, when I was a kid, I was mainly focused on Monopoly, Candyland, Sorry. Those are the ones I really enjoyed. Oh, God, here's the crown jewel. Oh, right, here we go. Probably Skip's oh. dad. <laughs> Someone actually thought that was Skip Rogers, the oh, Yo-Yo Man. <laughs> I never heard of Tommy Smothers until I seen this video. And he's a famous comedian. Yeah. Well, he was. I thought he was the Yo-Yo Man, but actually he's not. He's the Yo-Yo Man trainee, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I like you. That's what he says. I like you. Yeah. All creepily. With his <laughs> finger pointed at you. I'm coming for you, boy. Right, yeah. Hulk Hogan, we're coming for you. No oh, shit. All right, here we go. Kodak. Kodak. I never no knew they did for... videos. Dude, they, they make better films than 20th Century Fox. Or Disney. Oh yeah, this bet. Is a real. This is a real look. You'll just see with these special effects. Yeah. Oh I remember, God. Remember this cheese, Seth Godin. I actually emailed him and said, "Are you the voice of Skip Rogers?" He said, "No." The person that did the Skip Rogers voice was a 14-year-old kid. I'm thinking, no. Skip does not sound like a 14-year-old kid. They said a real you know, deep voice. It can't be, and also remember. Well, let's talk about what I showed you. What what was it about a week, a few weeks ago, a month ago? Oh, the uh, Turbo Graphic sixteen video. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. So so, what did you make when I showed that? I and mean, you and go ahead and explain what why that route is relevant to the Skip Rogers shit. Well, I'm the one. It's no, it's open secret, but I'm the one that's behind the Skip Rogers YouTube channel. And so, Magus indirectly inspired me to do that. And so, yeah, basically, I it was so it was so fun to do uh, with that channel when I would make it a running gag for a long time. And so, I uh, that video in particular, that TurboGrafx-16 video that was just uploaded on the Skip channel a month ago, it was just kind of like a joke saying, "Oh, Skip Rogers, yeah, I'm Skip Rogers. This is one of the projects I worked on in the 1980s or after I did my Score More Points series." And so, yeah, we, man, I had a lot of fun doing that, uh, that, ch that channel's still up. The Skip channel yeah. is still up, but, uh, it's kind of, kind of retired pretty much. This well, Skip's commentary. Video, 
well, that video real quick, the, the reason I, it's relevant is because the, I honestly believe that the guy commenting that video is Skip Rogers. It could, it, yeah, because his voice, yeah. Yeah, sounds exact. He says stupid shit like Skip does, like, like, uh, fill your heart with, what was it? Fill your heart with courage. Yeah, and yeah. Then, and then everyone's playing the fucking Mega Man game, can't fucking play Mega Man. Yeah, so, use the E-Tank on Metal Man here. Yeah. Where there's nine junior villains. Nine junior villains? Oh, fuck. <laughs> listen to the, the listen that? to what Skip says right here. Stay right there and you can't get hit. He clearly got hit because Mega Man was flashing and they edited that out. <laughs> oh, Skip Rogers, you bastard. And, and and here's the thing. You know what? I have I, I don't do the Metal Man first anymore. I do Air Man first. I've always done Bubble Man first. Yeah, see, I mean, this order's, I guess, okay. Yeah. But watch out for the spikes. No shit, they're spikes. See, I go to Airman stage. Yeah, exactly. I go to Airman stage first because so I can get item number two, or a skip calls it the jet ski to get over the yeah. lava in Heatman stage. The lava. <laughs> yeah, the lava. He calls it lava. The I lava. Think, I think in this, I don't know if he calls it lava. I think in one of the games was it Wizards of Warriors. He said lava. Yeah. Get, get the boots of the force. Lava walk, the lava yeah, the, walk boots. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lava walk boots. People get mad on my skip channel saying you're stupid. It's not called lava. People, some people took that channel too seriously. They thought it was real. <laughs> That's what made the channel even more fun is the, the people that really thought Skip was really putting these videos out and being serious. Yeah, he was really quite yeah. not intelligent. I was about to use another politically incorrect word, but let's <laughs> not do that. Use the C weapon but, here. Use the C weapon. Don't say the C word. Oh, here we go. Use the he said lava, right? He said lava right here, yeah, but he said jet ski. I know you use jet ski to get over lava. Yeah. It's a he, flying platform jet machine. Yeah. And this is my overall, overall favorite video game of all time. And so to see Skip commentate over it and just, you know, at the time when I first watched it, I, I watched your commentary over and over and over again because I could not believe how stupid Skip was being in these videos. And don't use the metal weapon on Woodman. Right here, look. See, and what, I think what's fascinating about these videos, like, I've been looking at a lot of tip videos, and a lot of them are pretty good. And there's, like, the one from the U.S. Uh, team championship where they actually yeah. show their faces and they were legit champions. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll have to show you those. They're not commentary funny, but they're, they're pretty cool. But they give way better tips. And, I mean, you actually know they're video game champions. Yeah. Jeff Rogers is a caricature. Yeah. I like how you said right here, and let's drink Ovaltine, guys. Yeah, let's drink Ovaltine. Ovaltine. And this, listen to this. If you can't beat it, run. So that doesn't work. If you can't beat Quick Man, just run. But you can't escape. So <laughs> stupid, man. If and you can't now. Oh, here we go. And, and, and let's talk about this real quick. We just went to one the uh, one of the best NES games, to my opinion, one of the worst NES games. Yeah, you know, I never played Platoon. Oh, I played it recently, and it's awful. Yeah, I've never played. I've seen the the cover box they just showed there. When I first seen that cover box as a kid at a rental store, I didn't know what to make of it. I said, "Is this a game where you sing?" Because the guy looks like he's singing on the cover, like like he looked like I don't know who Freddie Mercury or somebody. I don't know some rock and roll star singing on the cover. I didn't. I, that's what I thought when I saw the cover to it. <laughs> Oh, good old fucking, uh, yeah, this game should never have, you know, what you're saying, this game should have never been made, because it confused the hell out of you, and let's yeah, just look how weird it is. You know, I, I think it, when I hear a Splatoon, I, I think of Platoon, <laughs> or Splat, is it, Splat, is it pronounced Splatoon or Splatoon? I don't know that, well, I don't know. Splatoon, I think. Okay. And I think of Platoon, I go, wait, they remade Platoon, they called it Splatoon, what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Skip Rogers. Let's play the sequel, no, no, Splatoon. No, no, no drug-induced uh, William Defoe's here, folks. <laughs> there you go. Follow the map. Yeah, follow, Skip's favorite thing to do. Yeah, make a map of everything, even in Tetris. <laughs> oh shit! Remember that joke I made years ago? Skip Rogers, sex ed. 
Uh, I don't know if I remember that one. I said, uh, Skip Rogers' sex said, make a map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I imagine him teaching sex ed. Here's a map of the uterus. <laughs> oh, God. Make sure to avoid this hole and not that one. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shoot them before they shoot you. You're fighting shadows here. <laughs> yep, you sure are. Oh, uh, the fourth level. But that's one of uh, uh, that's another uh, one of Skip's primary tips. They're gonna show it right here. Uh, what does this map even mean? I have no idea. This is our coloring book. <laughs> here we the go. Fourth the fourth level is tough. tough. <laughs> really? That fucking help you. <laughs> well, you gotta know it's tough, and if you know it's tough, then you'll be mentally tough to beat the game. Maybe. Another oh, here we go. Game. Top Gun. There's a guy that comes to my live stream sometimes named Top Guy. I go, hey, Top Gun, how's it going? Oh, shit. Do you ever say you were commentated on by Skip? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Top Gun, actually, I had, I enjoyed somewhat when I was a kid. I didn't never beat level five, though, so I never beat the game. It's, I mean, you know, like, once you play something like Afterburner, yeah, I don't want to go back. Yeah, and I somehow landed the plane. I don't know how I did it, but I was able to do it. Yeah, I heard that's hard. Yeah, it can't it can be a pain. If you want to avoid combat, just climb as high and as fast as you can. That's kind of true, right there. Actually, avoid combat, climb high. And I, oh, he gives a useful tip. Yeah, he, he actually does here every every now and then. Like Simon's Quest, his tips actually weren't too bad there. Yeah. Which we will cover. We're going to do this weekly, and then I think we're going to go to the other Kodak videos. Yeah, yeah. Except for the, the soccer one. Yeah. Let's see. Danger. That should lose them, guys. Yeah. Gee whiz. Use the power glove. Oh, God. It's you know so bad. More, you know what's even more bizarre? is in the second tape, and I know we'll talk about this more next week, but with this, the second tape, this motherfucker advertises these really, like, I guess, suspicious-looking third-party controllers. Oh, yeah. And he uses yeah. creepy, weird black gloves, and, yeah, it's really weird. No, he wears white gloves, look like Master Hand, and, yeah. yeah. Like, you never see his face. Like, if you really are a video game champion, why don't you show your face? So that's... Like when I first discovered Skip Rogers, I was thinking, I never heard this guy. Well, there's a reason why he never existed. It's just a gimmick that Kodak came, came up with to sell these tapes. I bought, I bought this tape when I was about years after it had come out. And I was still playing my NES. And I mean, other kids had kind of moved on to the Super Nintendo, but I still play my NES because I was weird. And I was yeah. still playing Mega Man. And I found this for like a dollar. Wow. Yeah, so I bought it. I had to. It was like, oh, Nintendo stuff. And then I watched it, and even at then, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I, I never knew about this tape until I saw your tape, or your your yeah. commentary. And, dude, the, the first volume just made me laugh so hard. And I, the, the mainly the Mega Man 2 one. I just could not believe what Skipper's saying. I'm like, what do you, you do use the metal weapon. What are you, what are you doing? And, and your commentary over it, making fun of it. Just freaking hilarious, and I just got inspired to make the channel. It was, oh man, it was good times. Real quick, did you catch what he said? Even Skip misses a lounge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, yeah that, that proves how hard this is. Because if Skip misses it, how hard is it going to be for us? I, you know what I want to see? Skip Rogers versus Billy Mitchell. Oh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be something right there. That'd be the ultimate video game championship. Yeah, I mean, Billy Mitchell will just, uh, what, what, what was it, uh, you know, uh, What's the word? Um, I can't even say. I can't even think. He would. He'll make up videotapes of him getting high scores, and Skip will just be you giving tips over it. Yeah, yeah. J jump over the barrel. Right. Yeah. Avoid the avoid the fireballs. <laughs> Those are good tips right there for Top Gun. Here we go. Wizards and Warriors. 
This game was weird to me as a kid. I never played this. It's an odd game. Like, it's one of those games that I want to like, but I can't quite. Yeah. Is it bad? I. I it's some. Such a, in some way, kind of. It reminds me of Fazanadu. Yeah, but Fazanadu is way better, though. Oh, yeah, Fazanadu is cool. I streamed that not too long ago. And oh, nice. Down Phoenix came in there to because he, he loves that game. He's like, oh, man, you're playing the underrated gem. I was like, heck, yeah, Fazanadu is ECW. Yeah, Fazanadu is, is really a good game. I just suck I at it. That's why I cheat. You, you suck at it? Oh, yeah, I sucked at Fazanadu. I had to use cheats to get through it and look at YouTube to see what to do. But it was fun, though. It, I had fun it, with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's weird about this game is, like, the level design. and the, I'm not fascinated with this game. Yeah. And just to let everyone know, you, you do know who designed this, right? Uh, the what company designed it? Yeah. I forgot. Rare. Oh, Rare. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that same Rare. There it is. The Boots of Force. Oh, the Boots of Force, huh? The Boots of ECW. Don't try to get past the evil knight without the gems you need. You'll waste your, You'll waste your time. No yeah. shit. Get the gems. Oh, he tells us not to waste our time, but yet he spends... Yeah. His time. <laughs> this is why the, the Skip Rogers comic videos are so funny to watch. He, like, contradicts himself. And it's like, if you're a kid and you actually try to follow his tips, I want to hear some testimonies from people that actually bought this tape. Actually, try to do what Skip told them. See how far they got. You know what's so hilarious? There was this. I don't know if you ever heard of MTV's Game Brain. No, I haven't. It was a tip video released in the late '90s, and it has all the MTV tropes of the time: attitude, music, all that. But it was for PlayStation games. Yeah. And it's so cheesy. But here's the sad thing. It gave good tips for like, especially like Final Fantasy VII. It gave good tips on that game. Yeah. But but yeah, it was this really weird like, yeah, we got attitude type of thing, and we got a disembodied brain. But it, it gives better tips than this. How the fuck yeah. do you do that? Yeah. And uh, I, I just have to wonder, like, <laughs> you know, the Skip Rogers. Uh, I really some people. I, I used to argue with. I don't know if you remember Masterhand Anarchy Bossy from YouTube, but. We used to talk about this. He said it, it's possible Skip Rogers could really exist. I said, no, nah, man, because I mean, I don't see any evidence or research that I've done where it's a real character. It's just a fictional character. And yeah, there's. Yeah, so I don't, I don't. I just think they, I mean, you know, they did it as a gimmick to sell these tapes. But I would joke, I skip, I would joke that the movie The Wizard is based off of Skip Rogers and Jimmy Woods is Skip Rogers, so to speak. <laughs> it's his origin story. Yeah. California. Before yeah. Skip did this, he was going to California. Yeah. But he's actually from Yonkers. Yonkers. Yeah. Yonkers, New York. I, I, watched, I watched that a few weeks ago. Yeah, I, I have it on DVD. Yeah. You know what? We should do a commentary on that. Yeah, but, but since it's a movie, it might be, I don't know, a copyright oh, struck or something. right. Yeah. Or we could probably... We do is do the commentary and release it as commentary. A lot of people do that. Yeah. Maybe show still pictures or something. I don't know. Yeah. There you go. Now Jimmy Woods. I mean, yeah, that's so. Uh, the Wizard inspired by Skip Rogers because I think the movie came out. The Wizard came out in 1990, I think, or 89. I think it came out the same. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure if this video is 88 or 89. I think it's 89. 89? Pretty sure it is, yeah. You know what? You're right. It had to be because Mega Man was Mega Man 8, 2, 89? Uh, 88 in Japan. 89 in the States, I think. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Because he was playing the Japanese version, I think. Cause if, if it says Clash Man instead of Crash Man, that's the Japanese version. Was he playing the Japanese version? I think so. We have to go back and look again. I thought I said Clash Man instead. Dude, that, that threw me off back then. I was like, it, it, am I having the Mandela effect? Because I thought it was Crash Man this entire time. Why does that say Clash Man? What's wrong with me? What is going on? Then, oh, it's Japanese version. Okay. 
You know that they cut out every time that thing rises from the ground? Why? Yeah, because he, I guess he dies or something. I don't know. They're trying to cover Skip. It's kind of, kind of, they're trying to cover his tracks. You know what? I even wonder if... I, I, it, this is my belief. I don't even believe the narrator of this played these games. Yeah. So it doesn't tell him who played these games, but it says, like I said in the beginning, Seth Godin, a Seth Godin production. And I was able to track him down. And I was like, uh, huh. through, through email, and I said, were you the person behind the Skip Rogers uh, Kodak How to Score More Points tapes? And he's, I think I still have a screenshot or the email to this day. He said, no, that was a, a 14-year-old kid that was working for me that did the commentary or something. And I was just like, oh, okay, thank you. But in my mind, I was like, that can't be a 14-year-old kid. He is not, this is, this is not a 14-year-old kid. I mean... Who the heck? I don't know. Yeah. Who the hell is... I mean, it's such a stupid video, but it's so weird and mysterious, too. Yeah. It's so weird. It's kind of like The Room. The Room is so bad, it's hilarious, but at the same time, there's like this air of mystery around it. Yeah. Even though the making of it was documented, there's a lot of odd stuff about The Room. Really? You know... Like, oh. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, do you know who I really suspect... Who is the voice of Skip Rogers? Who? Christopher Randolph. Who's Christopher that? Randolph is the voice of Otacon in Metal Gear Solid. If you go back and play Sons of Liberty, listen closely on the Tanker episode where he says, hmm, there aren't that many infrared beams. It's the way he says it, man, it sounds like Skip when he says, avoid the beams in Quick Man stage. It sounded exactly like him at that moment. And I listened to Chris, Christopher Randolph's you know voice what? for Autocon, and I'm thinking, wait a minute, dude. You know, it, it could have been him. It could have. That's a very good possibility. And I think I tweeted that to him and asked him, but he, I never got a response. Maybe you don't want to admit to it because he, he's embarrassed by this, this project. I don't know. I, you know, I look at Wikipedia. He's not, he's not credited to that. So it might not be him. If it is, uh, then I wonder why he's not giving credit for it. Maybe he didn't want that on his resume, which I guess I can't blame him. You got to start from somewhere. Or they're trying to keep up the mystery of Skip Rogers. And that is, they're doing a good job of it. Maybe Seth Golden is in, is in on the secret. Yeah. We're, we're the only people who give a shit about this. <laughs> yeah. And some people like have called me out saying... Dude, I know you're Skip Rogers, and of course, as Skip, I just play dumb, or I play dumb just to keep the kayfabe alive. Um, yeah. But I'm and but I'm thinking, dude, you're not the only one to figure it out. I confessed this years ago. First of all, second, it's easy to put two and two together. I mean, you can kind of tell with our banter and uh, the Skip Rogers group who's in charge of the group. Well, yeah. Skip Rogers and who's this Ronnie Green guy? Why is Skip putting him in charge? Oh, okay, I get it, and. Yeah, some people thought they were so smart. I mean, you're not fooling anybody. We know you're Skip. I'm like, wow, congratulations. You figured out something nobody ever knew, even though I confessed it in 2009. Yeah, that was the first time you ever saw it, too. Yeah. So the people were shocked by that video. They were like, like Spunkies and other people like, dude, I didn't know, I didn't know that was you. Because I kept it top secret until that moment. And after that, I kind of didn't care if people knew. Yeah. You did a good job, though. And you still do a good job of Skip Rogers. Well, thanks. Oh, yeah, so the, no, go ahead. This is final boss battle. I'm sorry. I just got distracted with how bad this final boss battle was. Yeah. But go ahead. I'm sorry. I was, I was going to say, yeah, that's that was uh, that was fun to do, the Skip thing. And I really, uh, that's how I met some people to, that I still talk to to this day. It's through Skip Rogers. And then they discovered it was me behind the scenes. They're like, whoa, dude, that's freaking, uh, that's freaking cool, man. You really got Hell people. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. He's not wrong right here when he says this is a hard game and you'll find lots of misinformation. No, it, no, no. He's right. But like you said in your commentary, watch out for misinformation. Well, Skip, that's a double standard because you're giving misinformation too. I feel asleep. I never played this one that much. I've only played like Sons, of, the original and Sons of Liberty, and I play a little bit of Metal Gear Solid for Game Boy Advance. Believe it or not, that was pretty cool. Every rank earns you three rations. 
rations. You got to rationalize here. Skip's tips here might actually help me out because I I'm, I'm, was never good at this game. Avoid the cards whenever you can. Avoid the cards whenever you can. I wonder why he chuckles when he talks sometimes. Avoid the cards. Oh, he switch rooms. It's a trap. Skip Rogers. They can't hit you when he switch rooms or grab the card. Why does he chuckle sometimes when he does his commentaries? He thinks he's clever, but he's yeah. really reading off a script. Yeah, I, mean, I heard it. But then it doesn't. I don't know. Let Let's be fair though. The guy who plays Skip, whoever he is, he. Here's the thing that's so crazy about the Skip Rogers thing, is I think I know why it bugs people. He plays Skip Rogers so well, and I I say that because, and I'm not trying to make this into a great video or anything. He plays him as this really cocky video game champion. Yeah. And when he fucks up, it makes it even funnier. Now, I think that's what adds to the comedy, is how good he is at portraying this character. Yeah. Yeah, and I was going to say, I still think you might be onto something with the, the guy that was in the TG-16 promotional video. Probably mm -hmm. is him. And, yeah, because, I mean, uh, there's also another video on the Skip channel called My Face Revealed. Have you seen that one? No. It was where an actor from an old TV show called Red Dwarf. Dude, go back and watch that. I'll send you the link later. The guy talking sounds exactly even more so than Skip Rogers does in the TG-16 video. Ooh. I mean, to a T. So I'm, I'll upload that video as a joke, as Skip saying, My face revealed. Yes, I was in this TV show before I started doing video game uh, tournaments or whatever. <laughs> what, what video game tournament was in 89? I don't know if there was one. Well, I the, know the Kodak video game tournament. Points. I know they had all the high point shit because remember Billy Mitchell and all those guys date back to what the early yeah early eighties. But you know, um, I know about the Nintendo World Championships. Oh yeah, the one in nineteen ninety, and then the second one in twenty fifteen, and was there one more after that? I think so. Yeah. I think Skip won the 2015 one too. Oh, Skip, Skip comes back. He's immortal. Well, Skip Rogers' son wins it. He so passes the torch. The looks the same. Yeah. You really think Skip Rogers could have a son? <laughs> Not really. Unless it's adopted. Just say, okay. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. See, I mean, you know, you win, you win video game championships. You get all the women. At least from what I heard. I didn't know that. <laughs> Billy Mitchell must have uh, a lot of women, and so does uh. That, what was his name? Thor Ackerland must have a lot of women too. Then. Yeah. All uh, well. What about all these streamers we have now too? Fuck. Ninja and all these Fortnite champions or whoever they are. Yeah. Fortnite. Fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> I never played it. I just I, seen I, people I, play it. I can see the appeal though, but I don't really care for it. No, nah, I, I don't. I, I mean, you know what's funny is the only Battle Royale games I play are the ones Nintendo puts out. Yeah. Like Pac-Man 99. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Make sure you have a lot of rations for Get the, the mind. Kill all the guys first. No Ready shit, Skip. Oh, yeah, what, what are you saying, Wizards and Warriors? Don't touch the acid. The acid can kill you. I didn't know acid could kill you. So spikes and acid kills you. Got it. And so does heat panels that are on the floor. Yeah. What else can kill us? Skip uh, a bullet to the head. And bullets. Um, yeah. And remember, you always need bullets. <laughs> oh God. Believe it or not, you can jump over bullets. And the, you have you seen the movie Platoon? No. It's a good movie. It's a really good movie. I, I it, don't know, but it'll puzzle you even more why the fuck they even made a game out of it. Is it kind of like Hamburger Hill? That's better. I've seen Heartbreak Ridge. That was a good movie. 
That's a good one too. Yeah, if yeah. you like that, you'll like Platoon. Okay. I have to think the uh, Snake, well, Solid Snake's voice, I guess, inspired by Pliskin, but also Gunny Highway from Harpery Ridge. That's, that, yeah. could be, that could be Solid State, too. <laughs> Listen here. What, what do you call it? The guy, Keonis? It was Ari Cajonis. Listen up. <laughs> the bomb blast suit. Yeah, huh? The bomb blast suit. I had no idea. Well, the Skip Channel never blew up, quote unquote, but it was, it was gaining traction around that time I first started. Man, that was that was fun. That kind of that kind of shocked me. That was a fun time. Yeah. I mean, YouTube was so different back then. Yeah. I mean, now it's just oversaturated. Yeah, and back then, though, remember that on the on the homepage it shows the top ten newest channels for that week. I liked how they did that, and Skip Rogers, I think, was on the top 10, because it was growing fast that week. That oh, was pretty cool. Right. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's freaking cool. I remember, you, I remember you contacted me on Skype back in the day, and you told me that shit. Yeah. Fuck, remember how big I blew up? Oh, remember yeah, I, dude. I, 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 fuck, man, I remember... Get the about April's when I, April of 808 was when I blew up. And I remember that month, I got to 1,000. And then by, I think by June, I was up to 25. Yeah. And then when you died, you were up by 400. <laughs> That's another tale for another day. Oh, yeah. Well, we did that on the S2K show. Maybe I'll put that in the description box for those that want to oh, hear right. all about that. Whatever happened to S2K? It's still around. It's just... Not as active anymore. Is uh, you still talk to Ryan? Uh, no. The last time I did talk to him or did commentary with him was around a year ago. Now we did the Ducktales LP on on the channel. Oh, okay. We still do content on there, but it's not that often. And right now, it's it's like replays, or what I call rewinds, where I will upload, re-upload an old Let's Play, and we I premiere it, and we comp chat and ch chat in the chat room about it. Like Twilight Princess, that was a fun let's play. I'll have to join you on one of those. Yeah, so, but other than that, like, because I'm more focused on my channel and streaming these days, I kind of got off the let's play train, and I got, I just fell in love with streaming. That's why I don't really do so much videos anymore. That makes sense. Uh, where are the goggles? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, shit. That elevated quickly. Get, get, a, get a clue. Yeah, you get a clue, Skip. He calls him this guy. Yeah. Now, just for a little history lesson, remember, this is a part of the original MS sex game, which is very different. Uh-huh. You knew that, right? Uh, I never played the MX -X -X game, but I knew it existed. Mm -hmm. And... Well, oh, yeah, go ahead. Well, you can, you can play it... Um, with the uh, Metal Gear Solid collection, I have that on PlayStation now. Uh, yeah, I subscribed to that. Um, with that service, I can play it because it's in the Metal Gear collection, and they have a port of it. Yeah. And okay. and the second one. So. Have you played Snake's Revenge? No. Me either. But I've seen it on YouTube. No, I heard. It's a weird game. I hear. I'll tell you what game was kicking my butt, Snake Eater. But that game was great. Ooh. Oh, that game is a classic. That's the best one, in my opinion. My personal favorite is the original. I love the remake on GameCube. They did good with that. They overdid it with oh. the, all the Matrix type moves, and they, they really went over the top with that one. But it was a good. It was a good remake. Oh hell yeah! I just wasn't used to playing what? Metal Gear Solid on a GameCube controller. That threw me off a little bit. The day before uh, Kojima, the the days before Kojima made a walking sim. Yeah. What a great mind he has. How innovative Metal Gear Solid was. Man, that was awesome. Oh no. Why? Why do we not answer it? Don't go in the door on the left. Watch out for the Whoa, pitfalls. I remember I used to fall into those so many times in Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah. Get the oxygen tank. The oxygen tank. Or the E-Barrel. That's another thing he did in Mega Man 2. Get, grab the E-Barrel, which 
I guess you can say that. It just sounds weird. I've never heard anybody ever say e-barrel. Yeah, energy tank, I thought it was called. Yeah, I think technically it's what it's called, yeah, but you know, Skip. Rescue each prisoner. Rescue Jennifer's yeah. brother. Get Jennifer's brother. But if he says the guys on the radio are bad guys, then why are we saving Jennifer's brother? Oh, yeah. Skip. Skip, 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 Roger. Yes, you're going to skip his tips. Happy gaming, guys. Good luck. Happy gaming. I thought this was a tip video. You gonna just leave us hanging like that? To be continued. Oh, geez, here we go. And he says there's future tapes. Yeah, I guess. Only one tape. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, two volumes, but. And then the next volume, he interviews the interviews. He reviews these games. Well, okay. <laughs> just rewind the tape. He doesn't review them, he gives you tips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if we can can't talk to any of these. Will Kelly. Yeah. Let's see if we can catch someone's name. Dal McKeever. Mike. Damian McQuaid. Gameplay consultants. Skywalker. Baseball consultant. I don't I understand that. that. <laughs> yeah. I, I, baseball consultant. There's no... Ba he doesn't even review... Or do any baseball games. I wonder if there was supposed to be a volume three or, or beyond, but they just scrapped it because they realized it sucked and it wasn't selling. Yeah, probably. Probably the latter that it wasn't selling as opposed to yeah. the former. Yeah. Especially thanks to these guys. Out, people put sucky shit out all the time. Yeah, for a quick cash grab. Oh, let's have the copyrights to the games that weren't in this video. Yeah. Oh, this but let's the, not have... Yeah, let's this, not have the let's not have the copyrights for the games in this one though, but in the next one. Yeah, <laughs> this is one of the cheesiest things I've ever seen. Look, Seth go to productions. I wonder if he skipped himself or has or know who who is Skip. It's just such a oh, mystery. Like I don't, I, I, I've done a lot of research on this man. I cannot uh, for sure find out who Skip Rogers is or who the who the voice of this tape is. Like, our theories might be correct, but they're not proven. They're, they're not we verified. Should, we should look into it, though. Yeah. We should, like, I, do something to where we can spread the word. Guys, like, let's try to track down whoever, if the person's still alive, or if if, if the person, the narrator is not alive, then maybe someone can confirm. But, you know, anybody could just stand up and say, oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> and, you know, it would be trolled. But, seriously, I would like to really know who... The voice of Skip, and and then really inter interview him for real, like interview yeah. him, and that maybe that'd be so good for an interview for S two K, interview the actor behind Skip Rogers, whatever his name is. I would be down for that. Yeah, but and, go ahead. No, no, I, oh. I'm done. I was just I was just gonna say we should finish because I I if you haven't noticed I you know had some issues. Yeah. So, guys, thank you for listening and watching, and stay tuned. We're going to try to make this a weekly thing. But next week, hopefully, Volume 2 of Skip Rogers World Video Game Champion, Champion, Champion. How to score more points. So, guys, see you next week. Thank you, Magus, for doing this with me. I appreciate it. No problem, as always, man. Magus uh, out. All right. God bless. Take care.